All right, so when you get your, your arcade go and you first get it, this is how you want to plug everything in. So you have your HDMI, the power, and then this is the joy pad. Now these are wireless joy pads and I'll show you how to connect that to Bluetooth in just a second. But when you first get it, this is how you want to hook it up. So that's the power button right there and you'll go ahead and just press the power button uh, and it'll then load up. So with your joy pad, you're gonna plug that in and plug it in here and you'll see the little red button will be on or the little red light and that means it's charging. So when you first uh, plug it in, Plug that in there, press your start button. Now go down here to blue controller and Bluetooth settings, and then you're gonna push your B button. And then you're gonna go down here to pair Bluetooth pads automatically. Now on the back of the joy pad, there's a little switch that has little letters. It's kind of hard to see, but if you look, you'll see them. You wanna make sure you get those, get that switch on the D. So then what you'll do is you'll pair Bluetooth pads automatically, press your B button. Now see up in the top corner there, it's searching for devices. So unplug your joy pad. And then on the back there, there's a little button right here. And you just hold that for a second. And when you hold that, you'll see these lights will start to, to toggle like that. So the, the Arcade Go is now scanning for this Bluetooth controller. And when it, this, when it finds it, you'll feel it rattle and then you can see here 8-bit Pro 2 connected. So now this joypad is connected. So now you can see here, I can go ahead and control stuff without, without the cord. You can then go ahead and unplug this. Uh, you don't need this again. Next time you power up your Arcade Go, pick up a controller, push your start button to turn it on, and it'll automatically detect it and sync it up. If you have more than one controller, doesn't doesn't uh, matter which one you pick up. When you the first one that's turned on will be player one, and so then you can go ahead and toggle through your games. Uh, there's little instructions on the bottom to search. So if you want to search for a game, you push that button. Brings up this search field. Uh, you can type in whatever you'd like to search and find it. Um, your A is your back button. Your B is your select button. You can see it go into arcades and select the buttons or the games that you want to play. If you want to go ahead and play it, you push your B button. And what it's going to do is it's going to pop up the save state manager. So if you have a saved game, it'll show you the saved game there. And oftentimes there'll be a little screenshot. If you want to start a new game, you just go ahead and start the new game there. And when you're inside of a game, uh, let's see, we'll just go here to, uh, let's just, Pick a Nintendo game here real quick. We'll go 1942. You can see there's a save game state there. I can select that, push the button, and it's gonna go ahead and load and go right here from my save, save state. Now I did happen to just save it on the title page there. Um, so here you can go ahead and play, pick your one or two players. Now, while you're playing, you can save the game at any moment on the fly. And to do that, so let's say you're playing and you want to save your game, you hold down your select button and you go ahead and push Y and then it'll see saved state to slot number two. You can change that save slot by holding down the select button and pushing your up and down key or up and down on your D-pad and you'll see the slot number is changing on the screen. And so then you can load it to that slot. So right now we're in slot 11. Let's go back to slot one and the load is your select and X, you can load the game there. Now to exit out of the game, you just simply hold down your select button, push your start key, it'll take you right back to the main menu. One more last little feature, if you go here and press your uh, start button and you go to, to uh, game settings, you can go ahead here and you can put your retro achievement settings in. Now, your retro achievement settings are done by creating a free account on retroachievements.org, I believe it is. And then you just you can just turn this on, go here, put in your username and password. And what that does is on different games, and it's built out by the community, they'll go ahead and make special achievements, whether it's high score, power-ups that you find, uh, clearing a... Uh, a you know, level in a certain amount of time. And it's really fun. And that'll, it'll log your retro achievements and you can go online and see where you rank globally. 
If you have any questions, go ahead and uh, send us an email. You, uh, you can email frontdesk at americangearcompany.com and we'll answer all the questions you have.